So the Citizens Coalition for Change has accused the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission of prematurely removing their candidates from the ballot ahead of the February 3 by-elections, asserting that they still have the time to appeal. Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAP TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you are regular, just to the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that you won't miss any of the content that we share here because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time so as has been noted the zimbabwe electoral commission is disqualified 23 triple c candidates following a high court ruling that they have been barred from contesting in the mini polls. so you call ladies and gentlemen that triple c did not contest the 23 august 2023 election in court citing that the courts are captured and going to the courts would sanitize the much needed zanu pf victory so they said that they are not going to court because the courts are captured but what is surprising now is that in the aftermath of the by-elections they are going to court, and as expected they are losing after losing they are appealing so a lot of people are now wondering what's in it for the ccc to continue going to the same courts that they claimed to have been captured and after receiving judgments that are not in their favor they go on to appeal in the higher courts so where does the ccc really get the money to own and the time and the resources to continue appealing judgments that they do not that, that they know they will lose anyway so in a statement the triple c spokesperson promised mukanan said sex decision was premature and inaccurate he said that the triple c is still well within the stipulated time to lodge their appeal with the supreme court as provided for by the law he also urged the candidates to proceed with their campaigns as the party plans to appeal within the stipulated time frame his exact words were we are going to lodge the appeal within the stipulated time frame and our candidates voters supporters and members of the public are advised to search on with their campaigns and preparations as planned and scheduled. Mnangwazi Mukpanadi also called on the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission to hope hold the highest level of professionalism, independence and objectivity, saying that we do not expect the electoral management body to recklessly jump the gun in matters of such national significance as this further diminishes sex already questioned standing as a credible arbitra in national electoral contestation so promise mkwananzi is now taking a jive at zimbabwe electoral commission saying that they should be professional and they should be uh, transparent he says that their announcement to the effect that the sanu pf had scooped all those five worlds was premature and not necessary but however a legal practitioner who commented on condition of anonymity stated that the zimbabwe electoral commission had acted accordingly he says when a court order is issued it is binding and must be respected by all parties concerned if one of the parties is unhappy with that judgment what they need to do is to file their notice of appeal he also emphasized that the triple c's argument claiming they are within time to not an appeal doesn't hold water is what sustains the operation of the judgment is the actual noting of the appeal so this legal guru is saying that zek acted in accordance with the law because what they are expected to do is to note the judgment and do accordingly they do not know whether or not the triple c will appeal so they act on the judgment that has come they also do not know the outcome of that appeal so it is not the mandate to to think or to 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 to, to or, or, or or to suggest whether or not the triple c will appeal so they just act according to that judgment which would have been handed down so the most likely thing that would happen is the people who applied for that order will make an agent application to say the order must be enforced despite the noting of the appeal but they can't do that if there's nothing 
of the appeal which has taken place. What triggers any action relating to that is the actual noting of the appeal. If there is no noting of the appeal, then Zek is acting correctly by removing what the court order is saying. So they can only stop removing them if an appeal has been noted. But one of the things that will be interesting if Zek then and they not the appeal what they will be doing is to then make an application to reinstate the names of the candidates so this is according to the lawyer he is saying that after noting the appeal they should then write to the sec for them for the sec to reinstate their candidates so what the triple c needs to do if they are to appeal is to appeal so that so that the appeal can be noted